No, oh, hey there, Broncos. Just waking up from a lovely nap where I had the wildest dream. Course selection was happening? Wait, it is. Wait, you've got to figure out your math classes? You don't know which one to take? Don't worry. I got your back. Let's figure it out together. All right, let's do this. Grab some paper, something to write with, and definitely something to do your research on. Unfortunately, the first thing you have to ask yourself is what are you going to do after high school? Are you going to college or university? If so, you're going to need some prerequisites and I can show you how to figure out what they are. If you're going into an apprenticeship, talk to your tech teacher. They know best on what you need and they can help you do some research. If you're going into the world of work, stay tuned for what these courses feature because some of it might be interesting to you. If you're headed to college or university, you might need a math class or two to get in. If you're not sure which ones those are, let me show you. Let's start with those of you headed to college. I'm going to go to Google and type in Ontario College Info and click on the first one that's available, ontariocolleges.ca. This is an awesome website that allows you to browse all of the different programs that are available at Ontario Colleges. Let's check out the health category and I'm going to pick dental hygiene as the program I'm interested in. This tells you all about the different program options that are available, and I can actually scroll down and see which Ontario colleges offer a dental hygiene program. Let's say I'm interested in Algonquin College, which is in Ottawa. If you click on the website button right here, it'll take you to the actual website for this program at Algonquin College. This is key because you needed to figure out what your admission requirements are. I'm going to scroll down until I see something that's called prerequisites or requirements, even admission information. I click on that and it tells me which courses I need to be taking in high school in order to be admitted to this program. Bingo. There's the math one. Grade 11, MBF 3C or equivalent with a 65% or higher. This is what I write down to make sure that I am taking in my high school pathway programming so I can make sure I can get into the programs that I want. Let me show you what the university one looks like. Again, I just go to Google and I type in the search bar, Ontario Universities Info. The first website that pops up is the one that you want, ontariouniversitiesinfo.ca. This does the exact same thing. I click on the programs that I'm interested in, browse by category, let's say biological science, and I can pick on a program that I'm interested in. Animal biology at Guelph, that sounds pretty cool. I'm going to click on that one, and this website actually tells me the prerequisites I need. I don't have to go elsewhere. I just click on requirements, and this tells you what it is. Again, this is the information you need to write down to make sure you are programming and planning your high school career correctly. This program, for example, requires MHF for you. Let's figure out how I can get into that grade 12 class. Now that you figure out which programs and which courses you need to get into your college or university program is when this chart comes into play. This shows you what the prerequisites are for grade 12 classes so that you can make sure you can get into them. Let's say, for example, you need grade 12 advanced functions in order to get into your university program. Well, if we take a step back, the only grade 11 course that gets you there is functions, MCR3UO. That means that if you want to be taking advanced functions in grade 12, you need to be taking functions in grade 11. While we're talking about this pathway, calculus and vectors, MCV4UO, is sometimes a course that universities require, in particular for engineering or mathematics programs. This is a course that's taken after advanced functions. Usually advanced functions is in semester one and calculus and vectors is in semester two. The only way to get into calculus and vectors is through advanced functions. Another grade 12 university level course is mathematics of data management. This is a course that we highly recommend for programs interested in anthropology, sociology, psychology, statistics, and even business. Some university programs actually require this one, and there's two options in order to get in. 
You can do the MCR3U university level functions in grade 11. That's an option to go to data management. Another option though is functions and applications, MCF3MO. What's the difference? While MCF3MO is a mixed level class, there are fewer units in comparison to university functions. The benefit of that is that you can digest the material and take a little bit more time to understand what's happening. You can slow down as you're learning. And this is a great program or a great course for those of you who need a little bit of time to process your math and actually understand it before you're ready to move on to the next topic. Functions, MCR3U, is a fast paced course. There are a lot of units to get through and you need to be on top of your homework and study habits in order to really make sure you're understanding the material. As a rule of thumb, if you got above a 70% in grade 10 math, you're probably well equipped to handle functions. That's just a general ballpark figure. It doesn't actually matter. But if you're somebody who's like, I'm definitely going into university, but function sounds a little bit daunting, that's okay because look, Data management is a university level math class. You can go to university by taking a mixed level grade 11 math class. It's something to think about as you're deciding what type of a math learner am I? What course am I better suited towards? The last pathway is the college pathway. There is a grade 12 college math class as well as a grade 11 college math class. Of course, you have to take grade 11 in order to get into grade 12. Take a look at your college programs and see what they require. Some of them may only require a grade 11 college math. These programs are also useful for anybody who's interested in starting their own business one day or just wants to continue learning about math in the everyday world. There are units such as budgeting, planning for buying a house or a car, looking at numbers and making analysis about them. And these are all great skills, especially if you're headed into the world of business. It's something to, th to think about if you have availability in your timetable. All in all, whichever math class you choose, you're going to have success. Really think about what you're interested in and the type of learner that you are when you're just selecting your grade 11 math class, because whatever you pick in grade 11 sort of dictates where you're headed as you look into grade 12. All right, that's enough talk about math. Let's go back to the snap.